Welcome back to the Buffalo Plus channel. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We are in Foxborough. The Bills picking up a huge win over the Patriots. And I say huge because what this game means in the AFC East and what this game means for the Bills. Mike Catalana, I'm Jenna Cottrell. Mike, what do you make of this game and what it says about Buffalo? Look, they may not say they had to prove something. I think they did. And I think a little bit to themselves. I think they feel like, yeah, weather and everything that first game, they didn't play well at all. No. They failed in big moments in that game. When they got the questions about being embarrassed or what Belichick does to McDermott, they were cranky because they played poorly. In this game, especially offensively, they were fantastic. When you don't punt and you, you don't, don't get sacked punt. and you play that way offensively against a Bill Belichick defense, yeah. that is pretty impressive. And I know we're going to talk more about individuals, but I thought offensively Brian Dable had a great day. Mm -hmm. Josh Allen had a great day. And Isaiah McKenzie had a great day. Isaiah McKenzie had a fantastic day. Let's start with Allen because it always starts with him. I mean, he was able to – be effective, and then also just some of those plays are like, only Josh Allen can do that. That's a great way to put it because I thought early he was, as Dan likes to say, taking the cheese, yeah. right? Because yeah. there were guys open in front, take it, move on, take it, move on. And then when he needed to make a play, he was so good. And he lost so a couple of touchdowns. Sanders dropped one in the yep, end zone. Kumaro. He missed Kumaro wide open. Listen, I'm talking about the negative ones. He had Knox. Knox got a touchdown and got called back for a penalty. Like, they had some opportunities and didn't get it done, yet they still didn't punt. They converted three of four fourth downs, six yeah. of 12 on third Jeez, downs. Yeah. They moved the ball constantly in this game. But some of those plays, and maybe my favorites were the, the one he threw to Diggs on the uh, third down oh, play yeah. late, and Diggs got the first down. Yep. That was so the Josh Allen experience mm -hmm. and the Stefan Diggs experience there to get the first down. I thought Josh Allen played like an MVP candidate in this game. I thought so too. I, I actually, my favorite play from him was the fourth down where he, he looked like they oh. were going to lose it. And then Allen finds a way to kind of sidestep the defender, get the first down. I mean, he, he was fantastic today. And Isaiah McKenzie, a guy yeah. who was benched a couple weeks ago, he was fantastic today as well I mean I felt like he was kind of that security blanket we talked about Cole Beasley being that obviously Beasley not in the game today but Isaiah McKenzie had hands on everything 125 yards today 11 catches he was all over the field well let's start with this um you know I'm not <laughs> picking on Cole Beasley while he's down but Cole Beasley hasn't been that guy this year he's had a few moments had a yeah. couple of decent games but McKenzie was winning all his one-on-one -on -one battles today. We yeah. have not seen that as much against man coverage with Cole Beasley as we did from McKenzie mm -hmm. today. He beat everybody. I said he must have found a way to get his favorite Chick-fil-A on a Sunday somehow because he looked even faster than normal. So fast. And he also did it in big moments and big spots. Let's start with the first time. Yeah. First drive. Mm -hmm. They go to him on a fourth down. He gets open. Allen gets it to him. That was a massive play yeah. to get that touchdown early. But the that was just the early. start. Yeah. That was just the start when he decided, I'm going to go to 19. And it was interesting. I asked him what Josh said to him. He, he said he didn't really talk to me, and then he <laughs> talked to me afterward. I figured Allen would be pumping him up. Not that McKenzie needs it with the Mountain Dew and the Chick-fil-A, but uh, I think he was just phenomenal in yeah. this game. He stepped up in a pinch, and he was able to show why he's one of the Bills' receivers. And also, you talk about that. Another guy stepping up, Deion Dawkins, yeah. coming off the COVID list. I felt like this entire O-line stepped up. Obviously, Ike Bucker going down with Achilles injury. Hate to see that. You never want to see that. But the situation was very fluid coming in today. Early on, Spencer Brown was at left tackle. Things had to move around. Yeah. But the Bills were able to keep Allen clean. And they did very well in a, in a situation where – practice there wasn't really a lot that of that going into it well and there wasn't for Deion Dawkins and him jumping right back out at left tackle and playing that way that he did I think that kind of gets them all going look Brian Dable I thought had a great day and yeah. I know a lot of you get on Brian Dable he's a phenomenal offensive coordinator when you block and you make plays yeah. those play calls look great a couple of the calls the one drive down when he didn't go to Allen to run the ball and they ended up not getting on the fourth down and yeah. they had to give the ball up. I didn't like those calls, but I thought he was great. But they have a bunch of metrics. You know, what works? How do you do on third down? Yeah. How clean do you keep the yeah. quarterback? What do you do when you go for it on fourth down? You know, play yards per play, all yeah. those things. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. They hit them all. And again, 
This is against a Bill Belichick defense. And look, yes. the Bills got them last year here. Mm -hmm. Different kind of game. That team was finished. They couldn't do anything on offense. Oh, no. This was the first place Patriots, mm -hmm. a team who found a way, forget even the weather, to slow the Bills offense down. Yeah. And they did not do it in this case. They could not slow down what Josh Allen was doing. And I'm telling you, I think it was for as, the moment that it was, I thought offensively, this was about as good as it gets for the Bills, even going back to last year because of the moment they were in yeah. for this offense to play this well. It was a huge moment, and they showed up. Uh, all of my family, they're all New England fans. They all live in New England, and my uncle texted me and said, someone came to play <laughs> after that first opening drive. And let's talk about the atmosphere here for a second because this has been a place – that has been a bitter place for Bills fans. I mean, I have never covered a win in Foxborough with fans. Obviously, they <laughs> swept last year. I barely covered wins in Foxborough yeah. with fans. Yeah, <laughs> but there was a point where it was very quiet. First of all, the, the no call on the roughing the passer for Mac Jones yeah. and then the penalty after that. Like, Patriots fans were losing their mind. But when the Patriots pulled within six, a, a lot of the Patriots fans, there was a lot of – you know, fandom going yeah. on, just talking about, oh, we got you, all this stuff. For the Bills to come here in a very hostile environment, in a place that they historically haven't done well, just what do you think that message says about winning here and in the way they did? Well, they were in control the whole day. I mean, yeah. New England kept making, and I, I give them credit, you know, the Bills defense had some issues today against the run again, but the Bills felt like they were in control because the offense dictated the game to the Patriots. Yeah. I mean, they could not stop the Bills' offense. That was the thing. Like, if you just keep saying, we're just going to drive down the field and score again, and mm -hmm. that's what they did. We're going to drive down, at worst case, flip the field. That's what they did. So this crowd that was kind of late arriving, I thought kind of yeah. a little weak early. I mean, it's a 1 o'clock game. And, you know, again, this well, is a first-place team. <laughs> yeah, at least late in the year, they're not used to it. Uh, I think the Bills just said, we're the better team, and we're going to win. Yeah. And I think it was early, Harrison Phillips said to us in the interviews, like, this didn't surprise any of us. I like hearing them say that. That's not cocky. That's no. not arrogant. They believe they're the better team, and they yeah. showed it. And guess what? If you're a Patriots fan, an honest Patriots fan, you're, I think you got some things going for you. I think oh, there's a lot absolutely. going for this team. Mac Jones was not good today, made a few nice plays. He wasn't great, but he's a rookie. I think you think that. Yeah. But you also know that the Bills are the better team, yeah. and they proved that in this case. Agreed. And they should win the division. So I think the game and the division is going in the direction it probably should. Mm -hmm. But I think the Patriots are are the rival now. Yeah. It's yeah. full-on rivalry, and they might meet in the playoffs. And that was what was fun, is it was kind of, you know, punching each other, counterpunch, and, and just seeing the Bills be able to hang with them. And then, obviously, they were in control in this game. I think that just makes it... It is a rivalry now, whereas before it was, it felt very much big brother, little brother, someone always getting picked on. The other thing I want to talk about was the head coaches, both extremely aggressive in this game. And I yeah. think Sean McDermott dictated that. Yeah. He forced Belichick into that. He went for it early. Bills got the lead. Belichick was forced, playing from behind, to be more aggressive than he normally is when he's playing that way. But I thought that today, Sean McDermott, when I say dictated it, like, he wasn't asked about the emotional component of going yeah. against Bill Belichick yeah. today. His offense schooled him, yeah. and his defense made enough plays, yep. and he was in control the entire day. So I thought it was a really good day for Sean McDermott yeah. in this rivalry with a coach. He's now beaten three of the last four times they've played. Wow, what a stat there. Yeah. Uh, we'd be remiss or amiss, I'm not sure the, the correct wording, we should talk about Devin Singletary, though. Yeah. I think he had a, a great game. He had some strong runs and touchdown as well. Like, what did you see from him? Yeah, I think he's running hard. It's kind of funny now. You're starting to see three- and four-yard runs, and you're like, oh, they can do that in the backfield. You see a touchdown. And Singletary made some really nice plays in the short passing game. You know, and Allen yeah. even mentioned it. Like, early on, he made that play, got a first down. Singletary obviously has emerged. They did play Zach Moss today. He had a couple of plays, not as much. Singletary's their number one back. Yeah. And he's pretty good. He's not great. The offensive line's not a great run blocking line. They were certainly focused on the uh, pass blocking yeah. in this game. But I think it, it helps them have just enough of that to open things up. It starts and ends with 17. Absolutely. And I'm telling you, yeah. that, was, that was a 
phenomenal performance he put on. There are times where you're just like, oh, yeah, it'll be fine. I mean, Allen's going to take over. Like, when the Bills, when the Patriots made it a six-point game, I literally was looking around, and I was like, it's fine. On the sidelines, we were talking. I'm like, Allen's going to just take over. This is what he does. Yeah. And, and he did. And he did. And you mentioned it, you know, how rare it is to win here. Because for 20-plus years, the Bills weren't the better team coming Correct. here. Yeah. They weren't. No. And they didn't have the better quarterback. And I've said to you guys a lot of times, it's a rarity now when the Bills don't have the better quarterback. Correct. Josh Allen is that good. And Mac Jones is maybe going to be good, yeah. but he's got a long way yeah. to be competing with 17. Mm -hmm. They are one-on-one -on -one against each other, but Correct. Mac Jones did nothing in that first game Correct. and didn't do a lot in this game. Josh Allen is the guy the Patriots know they're going to be dealing with him for a long time, maybe even dealing with him in the postseason. We will see. Yeah. Um, Deion Dawkins, I think, said it best. Josh Allen makes a quarter of a billion dollars, and he's worth every penny. That was a great line. <laughs> that yeah. was funny. I think a lot of people in the press conference room giggled. But you mentioned the future. Yeah. Two games left, Atlanta, then the Jets. Where are we at? And looking down the line, what do you expect to see? This is where that mindset, one game at a time. I really do believe they. it's so late in the year, they feel it. Plus, yeah. with the COVID stuff that goes on, you yeah. never know what's going to happen. I don't think there's a problem with focus. They're at home against Atlanta, home against the Jets. This team knows they've gotten a second wind. I mean, when they lost that game in Tampa, New England was off. They're two games back. Since then, a win, a New England loss, now coming here and winning. They're too good and too well coached, I believe, to just, you know, screw it up at this point. Yeah. That doesn't mean they're going. Who knows what happens in the playoffs? I think they are certainly have earned the right now to get these two wins, get the division, and then see what happens in the postseason. But in terms of the context of this whole year, Jenna, winning this game is as big a win as they've had. Correct. Well, since the playoff wins last year, yeah. this is as big a win yeah. as, as anything they've had, and it puts them in the right spot. Josh Allen said a couple weeks ago last week that the playoffs start now, and I think you're starting to see that mentality. And yeah. hopefully that means more consistency down the line as well. But I think that this Bills team is locked in, knowing that what they have to do and where they want to go. Yeah. All right, well, we got to eat dinner. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's eat dinner. All right, thank you all for watching. For Mike Catalana, I'm Jenna Koch. We'll have plenty more Bills content as we look ahead as the Bills hosting the Atlanta Falcons coming up next. Sunday. We'll have all that stuff going on. Please be sure to check out the Buffalo Plus channel. If you enjoy our content, we try really hard. So Jen please, is going to tell you to subscribe. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See, you said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time on the Buffalo Plus channel.